This is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys today another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a dark film effect. Um, I've done this sort of effect in some of my videos before, and I actually like the way it turned out. Um, there's an effect in Final Cut Pro that you can sort of achieve the same effect with. It's called Bleach Bypass, I think. And what that does is sort of makes everything a little bit more darker and sort of gives it that more cinematic look. But what I found with it, to me, it sort of makes everything a little bit too light. It blows out the whites in any type of film that I use it with. So I find that doing it manually and recreating with um, myself in the color correction is a lot more easier and I think it just looks a lot better. So I'm going to teach you guys how to achieve this effect if you guys feel like um, having this effect in any of your videos or if you're working on the film and you want to use this type of effect. That is a pretty easy way to do it. So first thing we got to do as always, we got to open, make a new timeline and a new event of Anker Pro 10. What we're going to do is we're going to take our clip. I'm just using a stock footage piece uh, from stockfootage.com of the calcium. Um, the ancient calcium in Italy. So this is what it looks like right here. So this is what it looks like. I think it would be kind of cool because of the ruins in the background. So what we do is we have this clip right here. I'm just going to shorten it a little bit because we don't really need a whole lot of film. And since we have this one down here, we're going to take the same clip and we're going to um, drag it on top of it as well. And we're going to ma match it so the um, thing, uh, so the top and the bottom clips match in the same um, duration. So once that's done, uh, you, sort of your video looks like this in the timeline. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our inspector on the top clip. So make sure the top clip is selected. And come over to the inspector, uh, scroll all the way down to the compositing uh, tab. And change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Now once this is done, it's going to you know oversaturate everything. It's going to bring all the colors out. But um, now this is all we need to do with the top clip. So now all we have to do is deal with the bottom one. So once we have the bottom one selected, uh, you want to go to its color corrector. Um, I don't recommend using the balance color corrector um, to start out. I think it doesn't achieve it and you really want the uh, the manual control. So you can come over to your saturation. And we're going to bring this um, all the way down or mostly all the way down. It depends on what, what you look. I'm going to keep it you know, right about there. And then we're going to come over to our exposure and we're going to... Um, Laser and lower the highlights, the shadows in the midtone. So I'm gonna lower my shadows a little bit. I'm gonna bring down, I'm gonna bring up my highlights just a little bit. Um, my sh and I'm gonna bring down my all these. So basically, what you have in the exposure, uh, based on your clip, you're gonna need to change these to your minimum. I can't really give you guys an exact way because every clip is different. So just play with it until you get the same effect that I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to try to do it a little bit more here. And that is about there. Now basically you're done, but to give it a little more, um, a little bit more cinematography look, a little bit more professional look to it, um, sometimes you see there's a blue hue in some of your video. You might see a little blue hue. So I recommend putting it between the light blue and the dark blue for your shadows. And that sort of gives it the blue cinematic look. So now if we play it back um, it should look something like this. So yeah guys that's basically about it. If you guys have any questions about any other Final Cut Pro tutorials uh, just leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.